Welcome back to my channel of learning. In today's episode, we'll learn about correlational research. So let's get started and learn together. So what is a correl correlational research? So a correlational research measures two variables where you will assess and at the same time understand the statistical relationship between the variables with that will not affect to any irrelevant variable. So uh, when we're saying a correlational research from the word correlation, relate, is a type of a non-experimental research method in which you will measure two variables. There you will assess, at the same time, understand the statistical relationship between the variables. In short, it tries to figure out if two or more variables are related. Example, if you want to figure out if smoking and clubbing are connected with depression for the teenage child, that is between a variables of smoking and clubbing connected to depression. Now the correlation coefficient shows correlation between two variables. A correlation coefficient is a statistical measure that calculates the strength of the relationship between two variables. A value measured between a negative and a negative one and negative positive one. So when the correlation coefficient is close to positive one, that is, uh, this means that there is a uh, relationship between the two variables. When the correlation coefficient is a uh, negative one or close to negative one, there is a negative correlation between two variables. While if there are, are none or there is none um, correlate, uh, relationship or relationships between two variables that is close to zero, then there is no uh, relationship between the two variables. Now let's take it for example. Let us take an example to understand correlational research. So a researcher is studying a correlation between smoking and clubbing to depression in a pregnant teenager. So in this study, there are two variables, smoking and clubbing and depression. So let us say smoking and clubbing has a negative association with depression. This means that smoking and drinking for pregnant uh pregnant and ager are less likely to develop depression. However, this doesn't necessarily mean that depression directly avoids to develop depression. In correlation research, it is not possible to establish the fact what causes what. So there are types of, of correlational research the positive correlation, the negative correlation, and the no correlation. So, uh, when I say positive correlation, that's the relationship between two variables are move, are move in tandem, that is in the same direction. So it exists when one variable decreases as the other variable decreases, or more variable increases while the other increases. Example, when enrollment at senior high school increases, the number of teachers increases as well. It moves in tandem, same direction. While the negative correlation is quite literally the opposite of a positive relationship. If there is an increase in one variable, the second variable will show a decrease and vice versa. Example, Lambuno National High School students who have many absences have decreased in grades. Let's move on to no correlation. There are no correlation between two variables. A change in one variable may not necessarily see a difference in the other variable. Example, being a billionaire and happiness is not correlated. What's wrong with having billions of money? An increase in money doesn't have or doesn't lead to happiness. That's correct. 
So there is no correlation. There are no relationship with the variables. Now let's go to the characteristics of a uh, correlational research. First, non-experimental. So that is, it means that researchers or, or you need not manipulate the variables with a specific methodology just to either agree or disagree with the hypothesis. You need not manipulate the variables. Another is backward looking. It simply means that that is historical data and observes and observes events in the past. So researchers use it to measure and spot historical patterns between two variables, but this can be changed. Uh, but this can change in the future. Also, that's that's understandable. Another is dynamic. The patterns between two variables are always changing. We say it's dynamic, changing. Two variables having a negative correlation in the past can have a positive correlation in the future or relationship in the future that may brought about uh, various factors. Yeah, it doesn't mean that um, a negative correlation in the past can still be a negative correlation relationship in the future since there could be uh, many factors, contributing factors that may affect these two variables. So there are big chances or big possibilities to have um, uh, a positive correlation after this negative correlation. Now in my next video episode, feel free to comment below on what topics that you want me to make and I'll make it for you in my list of episodes. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.